Hey what's up dudes, my name is Paris, today we're doing a reshade tutorial and I also got a boom arm mic so I can get really up close and you can fucking <laughs> you can hear me fucking sucking. Um, I'm going to be doing reshade on Black Ops 1 today because Black Ops 1 always uh, uninstalls reshade for some reason so yep, uh, all the links in the description for reshade and stuff. Uh, mine is a little bit old, it's not too old, it's like a couple versions below the newest one so when you download it it'll probably have like a different logo and shit but it all works the same to my knowledge. So it will open up Reshade. Once you download it, it will just pop on your thing, like a little little, little fella. Um, and we'll click here to select a game and manage its Reshade, reshade installation. And you have all your games pop up and all your applications and whatnot. And I'll find Black Ops 1. Uh, Black Ops 1 Multiplayer, MP. You want to make sure you click the multiplayer version. We'll go use selected application. And then it'll ask you what uh, rendering API does Black Ops Multiplayer use. And you have a bunch of different... Uh, options here usually it'll be direct 3d 9 or direct 3d 10 11 12 um 10 11 12 will probably be for the newer like call of duty so i'm assuming you'll be using call of duty for this but you can also do it with other games like dead by daylight i do use reshape for dead by daylight um it works with a bunch of applications this so we'll choose direct 3d 9 because this is a bit of an older cod and then you'll get this um effect package list here and uh We'll go through and we'll select which ones we want. You can select all of them if you want, you know, every effect in the book. Some effects are good, some effects are just, like, literally memes. <laughs> so we'll go through and we'll choose the ones that I personally like. So Sweet FX, that's a good one. We'll keep that ticked. Uh, the Quint. And we'll take, uh, what else we got here? The Otis FX, pretty good. Uh, what else we got here? I know there's a couple more. Um... This one says Insane Shaders, so we'll grab that just because it says that. Um, it'll give you a little abbreviations of what's in here. Like this one says Fun Effects, and we're not around here to have fun. <laughs> um, and we'll grab this one here, FX Shaders. So we've only selected a handful here, and then you just click OK. And it'll start to download the effects. And here is where you can tick or untick ones you want and don't want. Um, I'm just going to grab all of them. I know what I want to use, so I just type in the search bar what I want to use when we get in there. Um, Quint effects, these ones are actually really great. I like these ones. Otis FX, they're, um, it's actually quite good too. The cinematic DOF is nice. Um, adaptive Fog, I use quite a bit. So we'll go OK, and then Insane Shaders. I don't think I've actually ever downloaded these ones before. Eh, it's whatever. FX shaders downloading, bang. Um, this one actually has quite a bit of nice stuff in it too. And we'll go OK. And it'll say at the top here, reshade setup was successful. Amazing, good job. So now it will open our Black Ops 1 multiplayer. And this will take forever as per usual because it's on my fucking hard drive. So I'll probably just do a little chippity choppity here. And you'll know it's worked when you see the little thing at the top going reshade, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, look, there's a new version, fucking idiot, hurry up and update. But if you know me, you know I never update my shit. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, you can go through a tutorial if you like. Sorry, press the home button. Home button to open this. So yeah, you can go through the tutorial if you like, but I'm somewhat familiar, so we'll go skip tutorial. And I'm just going to go all active to the top, so I can turn all these off. And you'll see it change a bunch. Um, some quick things. So this is your home page. This is your list of effects and, and good stuff. You can go settings. And there's a bunch of settings in here. And you'll see um, things like keyboard shortcuts. So I like to get a um, effect toggle key so I can turn it off and on. And I'm going to make that like F5. And then you can do effect reload key or I'll do F6. So if something isn't like working properly, you can try to reload it and it might work. Um, and that's about all I personally change. But that should do that should do so we'll click home again we'll get out of this and we'll load up my mod here because i've already actually made a demo for what i need we'll make sure all of this is turned off again all right so reshade can be quite uh intense if you have like a bit of a poop computer just keep that in mind when you're using some effects and things um so now we've loaded our mod and then i'll try load the demo we we'll go on slash demo one, which that's what I called it, and I didn't put the MVM mod on, you fucking, alright, so we've got the MVM mod loaded now, I got too carried away, we're talking about reshade, so we'll load back into our demo, Whew.
Alright, so we've got a little, little demo here. A little run around and stuff. So I know a lot of you want to see how I do my reshades, like for such edits like Mark of Death and all the COD 4 ones I've been doing recently. Um, and I will show you what ones I use. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, I might put an overlay of me doing it, is um, sometimes the in-game effects like, you know, like depth of field, anti-aliasing, and things like that can mess with other effects on reshade. So generally you want to turn most of that off, like shadows and things. Um, but yeah, apart from that, we can get into it. And of course, Black Ops 1 has the stupid fucking depth of field bullshit. So I'm going to have to take a second here and remember which one it fucking is. I think it's uh, near end. It's zero. Yeah, that worked. All right. Nice. So we'll get into a good position here. And then we'll have a play with our reshade. So I'll just toggle this. And we'll press home. Now we got a bunch of shit here. Now I know most of you guys are just want to gonna uh, are just gonna want to see the adaptive fog shit. So we'll take adaptive fog. We'll go active to the top, so it goes to the top. And you'll see down the bottom here you have like a list of um, your effects. And adaptive fog is here with all of its uh, different values and things you can do. So we'll go fog color. We'll just change that to like black. It's whatever um, fog curve. Make the fog more curvy. Um, so we just just play with everything to you get get it how you want. So fog start probably somewhere around here. Fog curve. Got to bring that in a bunch. There we go. Something like that maybe. And then HDR is always fun to play with. Got HDR. Make it a bit more, I don't know, a bit more intense. So usually with um, reshade, you don't want to do like all your effects in reshade. You just want to use reshade to make your game look a lot better than what it already is. And we'll go, uh, we'll type DOF. Um, I usually use um, the Quint DOF, but if you have a bit of a poop, PC is not so good. You know, you're dropping to like one FPS you'll uh, use cinematic DOF, which is a little bit less intense. It doesn't look quite as good, but it's still um, pretty damn good. So we'll use this one, and you'll see I uh, freeze up for a bit, because it's like, bang. There we go. i go active to top, so I can see everything that I have going on here. Uh, there we go. We want to focus on the quint here, and it already looks like pretty damn nice, so we don't really need to change too much. Um, I don't, you don't usually need to change too much here, so we'll change this a little bit. Um, we don't want it to be too blurry, so we'll turn this down a bit here, I think. There we go. And that looks pretty good to me, you know? Sometimes you don't need to do a lot for it to look good. Like, that looks pretty nice to me. But I know most of you are probably just going to use the depth of field, which is mainly what you should be using, just so you can get your character all nice and focused up. Um, we can play around with some other things, though. There's definitely a bunch of other shit you can mess around with. That's usually all I do. Um, you can definitely add, if you type AO, um, ambient inclusion. Chuck some of that on. Make your shadows way darker and just way nicer looking. Um, so you can just boost that up like crazy. But sometimes, especially with Black Ops 1, it's quite like finicky. You can see like the lines over there. I don't know why the fuck I'm pointing. Um, but you can see the shadows in between them. Uh, planks of wood there, they look a lot better. But you end up with shit like that. You see how it kind of comes through the, the wall there? That can be a bit of a problem. But apart from that, that's that's really how it's done. Um, it's just like playing with effects in any um, editing program as well. You just play with it, just change the values up and down, see what you can get. Maybe make the fog a bit closer, something like that, um, and just mess around. You can go F FX for uh, 
what's it called? A anti aliasing. Maybe chuck that one on. Bang. See, I would usually just go with something like this. Maybe put a bit more, bit more elbow grease into it, but generally just something like this. And then you put like a heavy color correction just over that when you're in your editing program, and bang, it's looking good. For this edit though, I will probably just be using. It will take adaptive fog off and HDR. Uh, maybe I'm gonna leave that show. I don't need the adaptive fog. Mainly just the blur. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. Bang. Magic. Reshade tutorial done. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe. More tutorials about other shit. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.